Boy, have we been having fun with the Luminary Smart Bird Feeder Camera. The perfect bird watching experience. Oh, flying my, uh, ooh, flying my nose? No. Well, uh, this is going to be an unusual unboxing because I got excited <laughs> and didn't do the unboxing. <laughs> uh, you're going to see the bird feeder camera a lot and you're going to see the solar panel that keeps it going a lot. This is the box the solar panel was in. I've used all of the mounts and things in this box, putting it in different places in the yard. Uh, this morning when we got the cardinal, I had it uh, strapped to the tree with this thing. Had it strapped out here this morning for the cardinal. Heavy duty Velcro strap would go around the tree twice that size. Great mount. Um, several days ago I had this thing up on that wire fence with all of these hose clamps. Got an assortment of different sized hose clamps. All of that's working great. It's currently on my camera tripod with the tripod mount that came in the box. The tripod doesn't come with it. This comes with it, which really surprised me when I got it out of the box and figured out what it was. It's just a standard um, tripod mount, camera tripod. Just clicks on there like that. that. And then I can move it around and try it in different places. This is a very adjustable mount for the solar panel that keeps it charged whatever angle you need to get to the sun. What else we got in the box? Oh, stainless steel screws and um, those things that keep them from coming out of the wall if you're going to mount it permanently. There's another different size hose clamp. What's this? A template in case you are going to mount it perfectly. Where are you going to put the screws? And of course, an owner's manual, but let's see what it says on the box here. Uh, full color night vision, 160 wide view angle, the hummingbird, <laughs> uh, it'll hold up to 1.8 pounds, supports a micro SD card, two-way audio, IP65 waterproof, live stream video, and motion detection. And I've had all of these things working here for several days and we're having a ball. Every few minutes, an alarm goes off on my phone or my iPad and tells me, hey, there's another bird to look at. And then I download it to my uh, phone or my uh, iPad. It's all Wi-Fi get great pictures. You're going to see a bunch of them. This was early, early in the morning and got us excited, but just wait until you see how much better this boy looks when the sunshine hits him. Later, we caught a deer passing by. And if you live with a practical joker, you might see one of these. We moved over by the corral and caught this guy. Camera's still not showing off the full 1080 HD quality of the pictures here because the sun's not in the right place. Didn't realize I was on camera when I was moving the bird feeder. I set the bird feeder on the ground for the quail. They're too clumsy to get up on it. <laughs> Hamburgers for dinner and cooking outside because it's unseasonably warm here for October in Sonoita, Arizona. 
The next morning we moved in here by the fountain where the real bird action is. And birds were waiting in line to get to the Lumary Smart Bird Feeder Cam. This bird feeder also identifies birds, up to 10,000 different species, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. We've always had a lot of bird activity here at the fountain, and we run to the window with our phone and try to get a picture of them. Not only are we getting great pictures now, I think, matter of fact, I'm sure, we've actually increased the amount of bird activity that we have here at the fountain. We're seeing a lot of birds that we've seen before, but certainly not this well. And we're crediting the bird feeder camera with the extra activity. My phone beeps, got a message, motion detected by the Lumary bird feeder. I switched to my iPad because my old eyes like bigger pictures, but you can do this on your Android phone or even on your Windows uh, computer. The Vico Home app uh, works on any of those formats. And I hit history down here and I get all of these 20 second videos. Now you can set it for longer or shorter than 20 seconds, but I set it at 20. And then you tap on the picture and it loads that picture and you can watch the 20 second video or however long you've set it for. Now with the identification, if you tap here, it gives you some choices. In this case, it's correctly identified this as a pyroloxia. Thought it might have been a cross, cassia crossbill or a house crow. And it gives you percentages. It's 97% sure that it's a pyroloxia. And then if you tap on that, it gives you a description. The pyroloxia or desert cardinal is a medium-sized North American songbird, et cetera, et cetera, American Southwest, Northern Mexico. Distinctive species with a short, stout bill and a red crest and wings. And then, if you click down here, it takes you to Wikipedia. I'm learning a lot. Hello, squirrel. We do have a squirrel problem here. Now, with regard to identifying birds, it's been pretty accurate. Not perfect, makes some mistakes, but uh, usually gives you a correct answer as one of the choices. The squirrel, however, this is a whole different story. It's actually become a game to us to keep track of how many misidentifications it does for the squirrel. And I'm going to read you a part of the list. American black duck, great gray owl, juniper titmouse, northern raven, American bush tit, gray partridge, pine grosbeak, gray horned swamp hen, Maui alahalu, something or other, northern grosshawk, wild turkey. It has occasionally identified it as a pet, which it's not. <laughs> Uh, the app also identifies when a person walks by, and the other day a car drove by with the gate open, and it said a car passed. I couldn't put it out there on the hill because it kept identifying my motorhome as a parked vehicle every two minutes. But this is fun. Watch this. You know, it has two-way audio, so you can hear what's going on there, but they can also hear you. Watch this. Hey, squirrel. Hey, you. Uh, adios. We figured out how to resolve the squirrel problem. We just put it on our other bird feeder. It's got that cone down there that keeps the squirrel from climbing the pole. We also want to figure out how to get it focused on the hummingbird feeder so we get the hummingbirds in there as well. I don't know what motion activated the night uh, light on the bird feeder, but it takes color pictures at night. Could have been a moth or a bat, uh, but listen to the crickets for a second. 
let's identify some birds. This is a canyon towhee couple having breakfast together. Good morning, curved billed thrasher. Looks like the white breasted nuthatch and the house wren are going to be friends today. The red naped sapsucker in the woodpecker family. Beautiful bird, but I could never catch him at the feeder. A canyon towhee, scared away by the pyroxia cardinal. This uh, pyroxia seems to be an aggressive bird. He scares everybody out here. Here one of them scares away the house finch. The white-breasted nuthatch seems to be more active in the afternoon. I think the curve-billed thrasher is my favorite. Not the most colorful bird, but that yellow eye stares at me and that curved bill. Hello, my little angel. You better get your fill before that nasty squirrel comes again, Mr. House Finch. Well, this is a live shot, and it's early in the morning. The sun's not quite right, but... Um, I wanted to show you a few things about the live picture. You see, we this is live, and there's the date, and you see it counting down the time, 10 o'clock in the morning. And if that's the button you hold, like when I yelled at the squirrel, you push that, you can talk to it. Over here, if you push this button, now it starts, it's counting the seconds that it's taking video. And you touch it again, it stops and takes the video to your camera roll. This one is um, screenshot to your camera roll. This one down here turns the mic on and off. Live shot. Now it's all automatic by the motion sensor and it saves video clips for you but if you want to look at it live there you go works that way too for live streaming well as always links below if you want to get your own of course they sent me this one for free but i'm going to buy one of these and take it home to my house in mexico we've got a lot of different birds down there including little parrots besides this smart lumeri bird feeder they also have a lot of lighting products at LumerySmart.com. Check it out. They have a big sale going on right now, and they have all kinds of outdoor lighting products. This is my house in Mexico. I think they should send me some lighting to showcase this place. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.